Run, 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 Hello, people. Oh, we're missing someone. Oh, Edwin. Where's Edwin? Dude. Oh, he's out. <laughs> <laughs> he really, he really got him. <laughs> oh, shit. Loud. We're loud. All right, shut the fuck up. See you, my I straight up thought we left this guy behind, and I was sitting right next to him, and then I just freak out, run out, and he was right there the whole time. Edwin. Where's Edwin? Dude. Oh, he's out. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. <laughs> So one thing that I've noticed since I've been out here in Japan is the prices for clothes is way more expensive. And it makes sense because Tokyo is like a place that's big on fashion. 65,000 yen, which would be around $650 for this jacket. Tell me why, you're a fashion dude. Imported prices, bro. At the same time, you gotta understand, it's a fashion statement, but it's tech wear too, which pretty much means it's for, it's for climbing mountains, bro. Look at the Steve series. Oh, nice. So if you want to be a mountain climber, we still want to swag out on bitches, you buy the North Face. Like Mortar Skate Shop. This place isn't just a skate shop, they call it a street culture store. And like the bottom floor of Mortar is like the high-end fashion stuff that's more expensive. And upstairs is all the skate product. And I've looked around and compared it to the prices back home. It makes sense because all the product is imported from the States or wherever else. You'll see like crooked boards for like 110 bucks. Girl boards for like $98. Real boards are like $110. Such a huge difference, but it makes sense because it's like all imported. But like I said, this place is big on fashion, so you'll find a lot of clothes. Very, very expensive compared to your usual prices. So many people in Tokyo, they want to get identified. Because there's so many people. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I don't skate for like, I'm scared. Yeah. I'm cool. Because no, you like I it. just want to skate because it's fun. I think for them, it's a passion. Yeah. That's like like what they're into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stone Island, five hundred seventy yeah, dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Look. Oh my god, he's not even supposed to be doing this. When we were ordering our stuff, he kept looking like left and right, so I'm assuming he's not supposed to be here. And I think a cop just rode by and he like brought his fucking thing down. Dude, that is the most gangsterest fucking shit I've seen ever. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's literally like a dealer on the streets, man. Hey, <laughs> I got boogies. I'm working on a short film with this filmmaker, so I thought it would be good to get him to work on a music video with Jarrell. So, yeah, they're filming a music video for a song called Kingdom Hearts. Sex with other girls don't help me. Breaking down my heart feels empty. He just dropped his EP. We have it kind of planned out. This guy is super good at filming. He has all these little tools and props that we're gonna use tonight. And hopefully it goes good, but I had to buy a new camera, which kind of sucks because cameras aren't cheap. Got the ADD again. Had to get a new hard drive, new camera. Beautiful. Wow. You want it? Yeah, sure. Don't uh, you already have one? I don't have a laptop. I'm sorry for your loss. I can't edit videos. Okay, recording rolling. With other girls, don't help me. Breaking down my heart feels empty. In my house with all our memories on my mind, can't stop remembering. Please don't go, no, please don't. It's hectic out here. Why does he have a Mario head on? <laughs> David Jarrell, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Oh my god. How's it going? I have to see my friend. Oh my god. Dimitri. Dimitri? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm a skater too. Oh really? Yes. We just made it to Akihabara because Edwin actually needs to get some gifts for his family. He leaves this Saturday. Any like kind of gift that you can only get in Japan. So Akihabara is kind of like really cool place for that. There's so much to choose from. This is the store right here. You'll find everything you need. They have like the most random like souvenirs you can get. This place is perfect for souvenirs. Look at these, dude. They're so tiny. Everyone wants these. I don't know who would, but come on, just take it. Everyone wants a samurai sword. They want that. Even got the chopsticks on top. What about the traditional Japanese mask? These masks are really creepy. Thank you. Thank you. Look at all the goods he got. The whole time we've been here in Japan, we've been going to this one restaurant. It's a ramen shop called Tonkatsu Tomini. And the worker there, his name is Jin. This dude is like the nicest guy. Every single time we've been to that ramen shop, he just greets us like so kindly, always has a smile on his face. And the ramen he makes there is so good. It's my favorite out of all the places I've been to since I've been here in Japan. Edwin was looking for bowls, like ramen bowls, this whole week. Couldn't find it. He just found some because I guess it's not like a Japanese thing. It's more of like a Chinese thing. Thing. Jin is Chinese, not Japanese, but he wants Jin to sign the bowl and take it home as like a gift for his like family. Best ramen in the world. Wow. <laughs> the best part is the refills. We're all done and we're getting another refill. Onigashi mask. Look. Ask for a refill. Ask for a refill. I can't. No, say the whole thing. I can't. Say sorry, <laughs> semi mask and ready. One, two. Semi mask, dude. Get out of here. I'm ordering like Just three. One, two, three. Semi mask in. Yeah. Kaidama. Onigashi mask. Onigashi mask. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's a. Beautiful. Wow. If any of you come to this ramen shop, I want you guys to buy a bowl, get it signed by Jin himself, tag me on Instagram, and I'll throw it up on Instagram on my story. I'm curious to know how many of you guys are actually going to come here. Best ramen shop. I'm not even lying. Nakano Shinbashi Tonkatsu Tonmi Ramen. Probably my favorite place in Nakano Shinbashi, I reckon. Best place because you can eat. I don't know what to the greatest ramen chef of all time. It's a real emotional moment. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, man. Bring it in. Since we've been here, Edwin has been shooting photos of like all of our travels and getting like some good photos for all of our Instagrams. He's shooting one for Jarrell right now and he just shot one for mine. He did just start a new Instagram for his photography. I think it's called at Edwin Akuna. Follow him. He just started up and all his photography is so good. It's on point. He has a lot that he took while he was out here in Japan so you guys can just look through it. I'll like play a couple of them right now so you guys can like see what I'm talking about. Dreaming about you since the month of May. So many things I want to say. Pray we never separate. I swear to God my heart can't take. You pray to God it never ends. Can't act like we only friends. Grab me right before So those two songs you heard in this video are actually from Drell's new EP. He just dropped seven songs on his SoundCloud. It's all super good. You guys heard it. The music like speaks for itself but yeah I put the link in the description so check that out. Dude is so talented with his music and one more thing before ending off the video remember the fall line I sold when the Yuri Street it dropped I made some extra for a second event we were doing out here the first event was a collaboration with mortar skate shop and that clothes was completely different like this jacket and the khaki coach jacket yeah the second event got canceled so I have all this extra clothes I don't know what to do with it so I'm gonna throw it up online next week I'll let you guys know in the next video if you guys missed it the first time there's a second chance but yeah that about wraps up this video so make sure to like comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys for the next video.